Hey guys, this is your FIFA Gamer here, bringing you guys another episode of my career mode series. And as you can see, my offer for Kurt Zuma, who I'm looking to get, does not get accepted. So I have to increase my offer a little bit to 4.5 million. And um, yes, and uh, if you can remember last episode, Papi Cisse, we got an offer for him. Uh, for 11 million, then I decided, you know what, we're gonna try and see if Roma will buy him for 16 million. And they decided to go ahead and match it. So we are gonna be on the lookout for a new striker. Of course, we've signed Abel Hernandez, but he was gonna be a backup for Papi Cisse. So uh, it, we need to sign another striker. And I decided to inquire about two players that are Daniel Sturridge and Danny Welbeck. Both of them playing in the Premier League. And as you can see, uh, Danny Welbeck, they want 15 million for him. And Daniel Sturridge, they do not want to sell him since he just joined Liverpool. Um, so I'm going to be looking to sign uh, either of them or perhaps another another striker. And as you can see, once again, the offer for Kurt Zuma does not get accepted. So I go ahead and put in a new offer. You know, it's a lot of money for a young center back that isn't that great at the moment. But I truly believe uh, that he can develop into a great player. And then I sold Kurt Zuma uh, last episode, but I get another offer for him. So I decided to see if I can squeeze a little bit more money out. I mean, obviously, Roma are still negotiating the contract at the moment. Uh, so we're going to have to see whether he goes to Roma or Arsenal. Uh, if he does go to Arsenal, uh, it will be a little bit more money, of course. Um, so I decide I want to go and offer for Danny Welpeck, but I found out that I don't have enough money. Of course, we're going to have to wait until we get the money for Cisse. And as you can see, Arsenal accept my offer for uh, uh, Pape Cisse. Um, and I also get an offer for Johan Gouffran. But, you know, I'm not looking to sell him. He's a valuable player in my squad. Perhaps not starting 11 material, but a great player. And here is a player who is starting 11 material, Czech Teote. And he's only 26 and he's 80 overall, so I'm definitely not looking to sell him. And here I have a game against Atlanta. It's just a friendly, so I decide I just need to simulate this game. And we pick up a 3-1 win, two of the goals coming through Pape Cisse. And as you can see, the deal uh, for Pape Cisse to Roma has been uh, done. And I get 13.5 million for my transfer budget. So I decide that it's time to go ahead and try and get Danny Welbeck. And finally, the uh, the club of Kurtzuma, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, accept my offer. So I just go ahead and uh, try and give him a contract. Once again, I receive an offer for, uh, for a great uh, player of mine who I'm not looking to sell. So I just straight out reject it. And then I get an offer for James Perch, who is one of those players that perhaps I should be keeping. But, you know, I've decided that I don't need him, especially with the likes of Kurt Zuma coming in. So I decided just to reject the offer for him. No, accept the offer uh, for the 1.1 1 .1 million. Uh, and then we have a game against Udinese, and we managed to score in the 89th minute, I believe, to pick up a 1-0 victory. So that's very nice. Um, but as you can see, Manchester United do, uh, do decide to not accept my offer for Danny Welbeck. So I just try and go 14 million. Um, even though they want 15 for him, I just want to try and sort of get him for cheap. And as you can see, James Perch has been sold as well. And Kurt Zuma has accepted my 4,000 uh, pounds wage. So he will now be joining the club he will be arriving at the club so that is brilliant and i also get an offer for shane ferguson who i won't be needing so i believe that i accept that offer as well for seven hundred thousand. so that's obviously going to be extra money in the transfer budget and money off the wage budget so that's just great but now you can see tragedy hits us danny welbeck 14 million does not get accepted this time they want 15.5 instead of uh, that they wanted f only 15 last time so it's horrible and you know now I'm gonna have to pay more money but I decided to go in with another offer and hopefully we're gonna get him this time uh, once again I receive an offer for a player that I just go ahead and accept this time it's Sammy Amiopi and even though he's a young player he's not gonna be getting any playing time at all so I just decided to sell him and then once again, I did this last episode as well. I just go ahead and change the budget allocation to make sure I have a little bit more money towards the transfer budget instead of the wage budget. 
And here I go and uh, apparently make the offer for Danny Welbeck. I thought I made it before, but I didn't. So it's 15.5 million that I end up offering for Danny Welbeck. And we'll see if we do manage to get him. So I go ahead and I play, simulate my next friendly against Bologna from Italy. And I take a 2-0 lead. Unfortunately, David Santon gets injured, as you can see right here. He'll be out for 8 weeks with a broken collarbone. So that will be extremely unfortunate you know that means you'll miss the beginning of the season so very very annoying and as you can see Manchester United decide to accept my offer for Danny Welbeck and I decide to give him a contract so you're gonna have to wait to next episode to see if we get him and uh, that's been it for this episode if you did enjoy the episode don't forget to leave a like and subscribe bye bye